Two more. Stay on. Get on the floor. Keep them in. Get it up. Five. Finesse. Four. Five. My name is Lance Corporal Shovelin. I'm one of two uh, active body bear instructors in the body bear section. And I've done over 420 funerals. The body bear CDS program is the selection process in which you go through the training mentally and physically for six to 12 months. It's a self-paced course, so it all depends on the Marine individually. But during that time, we'll be trained up from the, the ground. We'll break them down, get an individual, and then train them to be a body bear. As a body bear candidate, you're gonna find yourself hurting almost 24 seven. The, the physical strain that your body goes through day in and day out. It's not an easy school. One of the biggest mental obstacles our candidates face during their time in CDS is the fact that they need to learn how to be selfless. Candidates tend to, to focus on their own means and not on the whole the big picture of what a body bear means. So they, they really dwell on the fact that they're going through adversity. It is our job to teach them that it's not about them. So what the CDS program means to me is building up those Marines coming from ITB and the fleet and training them into the best body bear that they could possibly be. I got the opportunity to come to the body bear CDS selection program and going through that and then eventually making the body bear section, I've grown tremendously, not just physically, but mentally as well. Uh, I've learned that I have the strength to overcome adversity no matter what. March. If you could find yourself filling the shoes of a body bearer, then I highly recommend that you reach out and try to contact the body bearers. Being a body bearer is important to me because I get to perform those funerals for the loved ones, of those family members, and really show what type of hero that person was to that family and to their country. My name is Lance Corporal Paul Garrett Green. I'm the lead TAD instructor right now for uh, the Body Bear program and I've completed nearly 200 funerals. So I'm originally an 0331 machine gunner. My first unit was 1st Battalion 8th Marines. Uh, I was stationed there for about two and a half years. I um, was able to do one deployment with them on the 24th of June in uh, 2021. So I always knew about the Body Bears my whole life um, before the Marine Corps. I always look at it as a very professional and uh, very small knit, very small community, but I'd never, I never looked into the process of doing it. The first time I uh, actually talked to an actual body bearer, I was at the gym working out in Camp Lejeune, and I ran into uh, our old platoon sergeant, Sergeant Reynolds, and it was him and uh, another body bearer was down here on recruiting duty. Stop being okay with being average. We are not average Marines. We are top tier Marines. That's what we expect from you every single time you do a uh, exercise or run anything you do, touch a casket, anything. 100%, 110% at all times. Told me about the whole process, um, about how CDS was, the requirements, height requirements. In August of 2021, uh, we went to H. Kaya for the evacuation of Afghanistan. And I witnessed 2-1. Uh, it was right after the suicide explosion. The suicide bomber uh, detonated his vest. And it was like the day after that, I seen the Marines from 2-1 carrying their dead brothers onto the C-17s. 
and that kind of imprinted like a okay I really want to do this now because I've seen how solemn they were and how sad how, how distraught they were carrying their dead brothers and seeing that made me want to give back to them and give that fallen marine the best send off I could possibly give. After witnessing the ultimate sacrifice I wanted to give back to that marine and their family by coming here and becoming a body bearer.